What is up guys? Thank you so much for tuning into today's video. My name is Jason McElcar and in today's video I'm going to show you how you can set up and implement high level inside of your high level sub account and this works inside of your own sub account or inside of any of your clients sub accounts. Whenever I implemented WhatsApp inside of my business my reply rates literally doubled maybe even tripled overnight. This is because so many people out there use WhatsApp compared to SMS. Now the thing is the problem with SMS is the costs can really, really vary depending on the country. So if, for example, you have a UK phone number and you wanna message someone inside of the US, that one singular text message that you send is gonna cost at least eight cents. The thing is that doesn't really sound very much, but if you're sending out hundreds of text messages every single day, it really, really does add up. And the thing is with SMS text messages inside of high level, it's not based on every single message you send out, it's per segment. This means that if you send a really long message to someone and if it has emojis inside of there, there's gonna be multiple segments. So each text message can cost you 20, 30, even 50 cents for every message you send out. That's why once I started implementing WhatsApp, my reply rates and my open rates not only doubled and tripled, but my costs reduced by at least 70%. In today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how you can do this for yourself, how you can get it set up for yourself and for all your clients in as quick as time possible. So the first thing you wanna do is head over to your agency settings and over on the left-hand side, you wanna click on sub accounts. Inside of here, every single one of the sub accounts that you have inside your high level account is gonna show up. From there, you can go ahead and choose whatever sub account you wanna implement WhatsApp into. For this example, I'm gonna use one of my clients that we've already implemented the WhatsApp integration for. So what you wanna do is you wanna head over then to reselling and you need to make sure that offer WhatsApp is enabled. The good thing about this is you can put your own markup on here. So it costs you as the agency owner $10 every single month per sub account, but you can add a markup on there. You can charge $20, $30, $50, $100. It really depends on the type of client you're working with and you can pretty much put whatever markup you want on there. So there's two main ways that you can deploy this inside of the sub account. If it's a part of your actual offer, so say for example, right, you were offering Facebook ads for $500 a month or $1,000 a month or you're having it as part of your SaaS package and you wanna include this for all of your clients and just pay the $10 on their behalf. Inside of here, it's currently blurred out right now, but you can literally just click on pay now and what that's gonna do is it's gonna automatically deploy inside of their sub account. It's gonna cost you $10 to get that up and running and you can get it all set up from there. But if for example, you wanna charge separate for this service, you wanna make sure that offer WhatsApp is enabled inside of here. Once they then head over to their sub account settings and go over to WhatsApp, a payment portal is then gonna pop up where they can type out their card details and whatever price you have on here as your price. So say for example, right, you were selling this for $50 a month. It will then ask them to pay that $50 a month. That money is gonna go directly to you but your card is gonna get billed that base cost of $10 for the client. So you then wanna head over to the sub account that you've implemented the WhatsApp for and you wanna go down to settings in the very bottom left-hand side and head over to WhatsApp then on the left-hand side. As you can see, it says manage your WhatsApp business. This screen might be a little different for you. It might say something else. Most likely it's gonna ask you to connect up your Facebook or your Meta business profile. So how this actually works, Meta is the main company that owns Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp. For you to implement the WhatsApp business inside of this high level account, then you wanna make sure that your sub account is connected up to any Facebook page. So if this was your client, it would ask them to just connect up their Facebook profile on this page right here. It's very, very simple. All they need to do is log in with their Facebook details, they choose their business profile or they can create a brand new business profile, which is what I've done. It's very important if you wanna create a brand new business profile, make sure that the name that you set it up is the name that you want the WhatsApp message to come from. So for example, if you don't want the business name to pop up, but you want your actual own name to pop up, you just wanna fill that out in there. It's very, very simple. You just type out your name, click create now, and it's gonna take you to this page right here. Then you can go ahead and connect up your phone number. So there's two ways that you can use a phone number. So you can either use your actual own WhatsApp number. So say for example, you have a SIM card and you have a number connected to that SIM card. You can either type out that number there or instead you can implement 
implement a brand new phone number, maybe one of the phone numbers that you've gotten inside of your high level account, it doesn't really matter. You can either use a physical SIM card or use your lead connector phone number that you've purchased from high level. It doesn't really matter. Both work the exact same. So it doesn't really matter which number you actually choose. In this case, what I'm gonna go ahead and do is click on add number. And I'm gonna choose one of the numbers that I have inside of this high level account. I'm gonna to proceed to verify. And as you can see, it has my name on there. So this is where you would choose your own business name or your own name if you're gonna be sending something out. We can then either choose to verify using a text message or through a call. It's really up to you here. You can choose any of these methods right here. You can either choose a text message or you can choose to receive a call. If you go ahead and choose text message, you're gonna receive a code with a five or a six digit pin. You then wanna type that pin right inside of here. Once that's all good and once that's verified, it will change right here from pending to connected. The thing is that people do not understand about using WhatsApp inside of high level or using WhatsApp really inside of any platform. You're connecting up to the WhatsApp meta business profile. It's not just traditional WhatsApp where you go on your mobile phone, you go out and send some text messages and people can reply. Instead, you're gonna be using something called WhatsApp templates and I'm gonna show you exactly how this looks. So once you have this number connected up and it says all you know connected and the quality is green and everything's all good, you then wanna head over to templates. And this right here is where you type out your message that you want people to receive. You can type out as many of these templates as you want. Just as a quick note here, you don't wanna be doing anything dodgy or anything shady at all because Meta will come in here because they need to approve every single message that comes through their system. Real quick guys, before we move ahead with this tutorial, if you do want access to a completely free step-by-step -step course going into a lot more high-level things in detail, it includes all of my website templates, all my messaging templates, all my calling scripts, pretty much everything that you need. If you wanna start a business using high-level, I do have a completely free step-by-step -step course if you do want access to that, leave a like on this video and head over to softwarearbitrage.com. You can go ahead, get signed up for the completely free step-by-step -step course. And if you have any questions whatsoever, you can leave them down below. Right, so if we wanna create one of these templates because we wanna send out a message to people, just click on create template and it's gonna ask us to create our template name. And inside of here, I'm just gonna do test underscore template. You wanna name these, you wanna make sure the names are pretty decent because you're gonna to need to click on these names every single time you wanna send a message manually out through the Lead Connector mobile app. In just a few minutes, I will show you how to automatically send all of these WhatsApps out, but you just wanna make sure that your name actually makes sense. Inside a category, you can choose marketing because that's just the default. You can then choose your language, and if you're like me and you speak English, you can just choose English, either UK or US, it doesn't really matter. I do not usually show a header because we want to have this message as natural as possible. We want people to think that we're actually manually sending out these messages. So we can then head over to body and we can type out the main body of our message right here. So we can go, hey, and if you know what high level is and if you know how high level works, if you wanna automatically include the first name, everyone knows that you gotta do hey and then choose contact first name inside of those squiggly brackets. But if you're using high level business, it's actually slightly different. So what we wanna do is click on add variable. And as you can see, it's gonna add in a thing that says hey and then inside of the brackets, instead of contact first name or instead of contact name, it's gonna say hey and then one inside those brackets. Inside a select custom variable, we wanna click on this little dog tag right here and we wanna go down to contact and then first name. Inside of sample contact, we can type out any name right here. So inside of this name, we're just gonna type out Aaron, so A-A-R-O-N. And over on the right hand side, as you can see, it says, hey Aaron. And then we can come over to our main body right here. We can type out the rest of the message. So we can say, just making sure you got my number question mark. Inside of here, this is where you would put your main body of the message. So say for example, right, someone booked in for a meeting with you or for one of your clients. You could do, hey Aaron, this is just a confirmation for our call on Monday at 1 p.m. Feel free to reply to this number because it's my actual number. So if you have any questions between now and our call, you can type them down below. We then wanna scroll down and the footer is optional. I don't really recommend this. You can put buttons on here. So if for example, you wanna have like a button on there that takes people to the website. So say for example, if there's just like a certain video you want people to watch before the meeting or there's a course or there's some sort of content you want them to digest, you can click on visit website. You can type the URL right out there and that's pretty much it. You just wanna click on create. 
Once you've gone ahead and created that template right here, you will see that it will just be in purple text and it will say pending. All of these messages that I have right now are approved. Usually it only takes five or 10 minutes, but sometimes for the first message that you set up, it might take around 30 minutes or so for Meta to approve this. If we now wanna be able to send these messages out to all of those people that book in for calls with us, we wanna click on go back. We wanna head down over to automation. We're gonna then search for the workflow that we have set up. So I'm just gonna go for one of my workflows that I have on here. So appointment booking and reminder. So now that we have this automation loaded up, we wanna scroll down and once everything's all been done, so I just do a simple few things in here. I assign the automation, I assign the lead to a certain user. I update them inside a pipeline and then I add just a simple tag saying they've booked. I then send myself an internal notification and do not worry if none of this makes sense whatsoever. You can go ahead and check out that completely free course over at softwarearbitrage.com. We then wanna scroll down and once we want people to actually receive our WhatsApp message, we can click on a little plus here. We can scroll down until we see WhatsApp. And as you can see, there is WhatsApp. It then asks us to choose whichever template we wanna use. So we're just gonna click on select WhatsApp template and I'm just gonna add in my 10 minute reminder appointment automation. Once that's all loaded in, you wanna just click on save action and that is pretty much it. That's how simple it all is to set up. So once you've done this and once that message that you set up has completely verified inside of the WhatsApp templates, you're pretty much good to go. So how the WhatsApp pricing actually works, it's not like SMS where you're charged every single time you send a text message out. For example, if I was to send you a WhatsApp message and you replied to that message in whatever time frame, once you actually reply, it opens up a time window of 24 hours. So we have 24 hours. We can go back and forth and back and forth. But the thing is, if we're messaging each other every single hour for 24 hours, it actually just resets every single time. So if we consistently communicate and stay in touch with inside of a 24 hour window, it's actually gonna charge us the once and it's only like a few cents. It might be two or three cents. I can't exactly remember the figure. That's why it works out so, so much cheaper compared to just SMS. So that's pretty much everything when it comes to implementing and setting up WhatsApp for either yourself or one of your clients instead of high level. I have a lot more content like this. So if you do wanna check some of that out, make sure to drop a sub on my channel and check out any of the other videos down below. And also if you do want access to that completely free step-by-step -step course that goes into everything in a lot more detail, like all of my templates, all of my scripts, pretty much the A to Z in terms of getting high level all set up, running a business using high level and reselling high level to clients over and over and over again. If you do want access to that completely free step-by-step -step course, make sure to leave a like on this video and check out that first link down in the description or you can head over to softwarearbitrage.com and check it out for yourself. Thank you so much for tuning into today's video and we'll see you in the next one.